Hey guys, I'm back in the last part of Lock Down the Walls level 11 weapon, the Pandemonium. And now, we're gonna go lock Lung Mung's level 11 weapon, which had a total of 2 votes. So, just like any other level 11 weapon, we have to go to Legend Mode. And since we're going for Lung Mung's, we have to go to his legend stage. And I'll show off the 6 mall like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration and the special rules, so move on. We know the objectives, we know the unit info. The equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the White Tiger at level 10. The items. I'm going to swap out the Wind Scroll and replace that with the Master of Musu. The bodyguards, I'll have all 8 bodyguards and I'll set the weapon to Pike. And that pretty much covers it. So. Let's do it. Alright, so in order to obtain the S rank here and unlock Lu Meng's level 11 weapon, you have to do the following in order. Defeat Zhou Song, then Lia Hua. Once you enter my castle, secure the gate inside my castle. Defeat Guan Ping, then secure the gate where Guan Yu would head to if he's trying to escape. And then, last but not least, get 50 KOs. You could rack up the KOs, but that's the tricky part. Getting enough KOs where you won't run out, but making sure you're under 50. So, <laughs> yeah, have fun with that. Anyways. This is going to suck. Like I said, the hard part for this stage, or for the weapon requirements, is making sure I'm actually below 50. Alright, I'm at 34. That's way too fucking high. And don't be surprised if you fuck up the weapon run because you have too many KOs. That's the tricky part once again. Getting fewer KOs but up to a point where you know you'll have enough to grind out at the end of it but also making sure you're not over 50. Anyways. I love it for the fact I'm hitting the wrong person. Anyways. There we go. Let's try to avoid the rat packs. Alright. Liahua is down. Now we'll go and secure this gate over here. Alright, that gate captain is down. Now we have to go for Guan Ping next. Once again, you cannot do this out in order, or out of order. If you do, you'll fuck up the weapon requirements and you won't get the weapon. So, make sure you are doing this in order. There's only very few times I could think of where you actually have to do something in a particular order. This is one of them. Anyways, let's go for Guan Ping, without having Guan Yu follow us. Or having me push Guan Ping over there. Oh yeah, and one other thing I totally forgot, make sure you do all this while keeping your allies alive. I don't know why I forgot about that, but yeah, if you lose any of your allies, you also fuck up. Just like the edit weapon. Alright, that should uh, do things there, if that made any sense. Now we'll go and secure the gate, then get the remaining KOs. There we go. Now all I have left is getting the last remaining KOs. Once the weapon text pops up saying that you got the weapon, 
you can allow allies to fall. But right now, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it at all. There you go. And there it is. Now we'll go for Guan Yu. Just be careful because he is strong as fuck. Especially on his red hair. Yeah, let's play it smart and not reckless. So that means we're heading back and, uh... If Guan Yu's gonna continue to chase me, I'll let him chase me. But, uh, oh, let's definitely not head in that direction. Uh, let me get him over here where the Imperial Seal is. And I can finish him off. Or I can fill up my Musa Gauge and go for him next. You know what? That's taking forever because of the lag. Shit, that was not smart. Alright, let's be careful here because I'm about to die. And I can't afford to die right... For the fact that I have the weapon, I can't afford that to happen. And the lag is fucking crazy right now. Alright, where's Guan Yu? This lag is fucking insane. Alright, that's my time to run. Now, where's that fucking box? There it is. It should be right there. That might finish him off. Nope, not even close. Alright, time to bail. Well, at least he's going in the opposite direction. You gotta be fucking kidding me. He hasn't died yet? I'm not taking any fucking chances. Alright, he's down. That took way longer than it should have. Impressive. You have become a formidable warrior, Lu Meng. Take my head. I shall speak tales of you in the afterlife. So, you will not yield. Very well. Farewell, God of War! And that's a win. Alright, that's another one down. Kind of reckless on my part. Really on my part. Um, but at the end of the day, we got it done. Anyways, our KO count is 55. Not a lot. That was kind of part of the plan. Our worthy opponent count, we defeated everybody in the stage. Our clear time is 6 minutes and 34, sec uh, 34 seconds. I don't know why I'm thinking 33. I'm thinking the nanoseconds, whatever you want to call them. And uh, a point total, just bear with me because it takes quite a bit, or never mind, 6,385 points. Not that that matters because the rank and the points are at max. And here's the level 11 weapon, the Mystic Hunter. Just like any other level 11 weapon, the attack powers are plus 60, 
and the four items that come with it are the Taurus Amulet, which gives you additional defense, level 19, Speed Scroll, additional speed, level 15, Wong's Bow, uh, Bow Attack, level 10, and the Herbal Remedy, which gives you additional damage towards any of your charge attacks at level 20. In order to get it, all you have to do is do this in this order. Defeat Zhou Song and then Liao Hua. Secure the gate inside my castle. Defeat Guan Ping. Secure the second gate where Guan Yu would head over if he was trying to retreat. Retreat that and then get 50 KOs. You don't have to get zero. Well, you don't have to start out with 50, obviously. Or, I mean, it's 50. Uh, you don't have to start out with zero KOs. Actually, it wouldn't be possible, but just make sure you don't pass 50 KOs up until you, you complete that final part of those requirements. So, Zhou Song and Liao Hua first. Secure the gate second inside my castle, if that made any sense. Defeat Guan Ping next. Secure the gate where Guan Yu would head over to if he's trying to retreat next. And then make sure you hit that milestone of 50 KOs. And you have to do all of this while keeping all of your allies alive. If one falls, you also lose the weapon, so be careful with that. So, in comparison to the edit weapon, believe it or not, I personally feel like the edit weapon is actually a bit easier because all you have to do is just make sure you get the 50 KOs before you secure the second gate where Guan Yu would head to if he's trying to retreat. So, once you secure that second gate, you better have 50 KOs, but that's for the other weapon, and I personally find that weapon a lot easier than this one. Hard to believe. But, uh, anyways, enough of that. The grade, well, bodyguards first. Right. There we go. The grade, obviously we got an S rank, it was just a matter of how many points, and we got 90 points, so... Now we'll save, and... There you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4, in some cases Extreme Legends. Well, in this case, it really is Extreme Legends, and I'll see you in the next part where we'll go and unlock another level 11 weapon. And the next level 11 weapon we're going to get, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's Shao Ho wants. Yep, the next weapon we're going to get is Shao Ho wants. So, peace out.